Hello and welcome to SAP on Microsoft Azure. My name is Holger Brochelt and in this video we want to continue the integration of Power Automate, the SAP ERP connector and Power Apps. So the scenario is still the same. Um, we have an SAP system behind a firewall. We have the on-premises data gateway installed. We are using the SAP ERP connector to create a Power Automate flow. This Power Automate flow retrieves a list of product from the SAP system. And now what we'll do is we'll take the results of this call to the SAP system and surface the data in Power Apps. So let's pick up where we um, left in the previous video. So the first thing in order to make this Power Automate flow available in Power Apps is that we need to change the trigger. So instead of this manual trigger, what I'll do is just delete this one and add here a new Power Apps trigger. Then as before, I mean, we have here our um, call SAP function and now we want to return this, um, the information back to, uh, back to Power Automate, uh, Power Apps. So what we'll do is we'll use here the response functionality. We'll um, return the header data information and then what we need, uh, we need to uh, map this header data inf information into a dedicated JSON structure. So what we'll do is we'll run it once. And in the results here, or actually also, we should also see the results here in our response. What we'll do, we'll just take this structure here, this uh, full response, and then here in the advanced options, we'll actually generate um, the JSON structure out of this sample payload. So now um, the response actually really knows all the properties, all the fields that are returned um, from the SAP system. With this, we can head over to Power Apps. And in Power App, I'll start with a blank application. We'll just create a Canvas app. We'll use a phone factor and we'll call it SAP product list. So I click on create. And the first thing that we'll do is we'll add um, a button where we uh, that we just name call SAP. And we will map a power automate uh, flow to this specific button. So here I can see a list of all the power automate flows that I have currently available in my environment. And I'll select the SAP ERP connection. That's the one that we just created in Power Automate. With this, uh, we have here the, the formula. So theoretically, we could pass some arguments um, over to this flow. In our case, we, we, we don't need this. What we want to do is we'll cre create a clear, clear collect, we'll call it set product. And if I just call this specific function, you can see it's, it's loading up here. Then I can actually go here to view collections and I can see here um, the list from the SAP system. So, so perfect. Now we have the information in this Z product collection. So the next thing what I can do is I can just call um, pull in this virtual gallery here and we'll bind this virtual gal gallery to our Z product collection. You can see it immediately tries to fetch some information and we'll just adjust this. So instead of the category here, we will look for the name and you can see I have all these suggestions already. This is because our Power Automate flow returns this information um, to uh, Power App in this specific case. I can do the same here. Maybe I want to do here the category and potentially I could add a few other things. Now for the picture, what we can do is we can actually also um, retrieve this information from uh, our um, our um, SAP system. But actually, as you might have seen here, you can see here, the, this is just a relative URL um, to our product. So what we'll do is um, for the for the picture, we'll just do an concatenate 
we'll add the primary address and then we'll just say this item product URL. So let me just get the base server name and you can see immediately we retrieve um, the, the images of this specific application or this specific product. So with this, if I click on play, we now have a list of the products or actually I can refresh this page and I have all the information now directly in Power Apps. I hope this video showed you how easy it actually is to create a new application out of information coming from an SAP system using Power, using Power Automate and in this case the ERP connector. There's lots of information available. There's a beautiful introduction blog post that talks about using the SAP ERP connector. There's the documentation for the SAP ERP connector. And obviously here on the SAP on Azure video um, YouTube channel, we also have a lot of tutorials that talks and show you how you can actually use um, SAP and the Power Platform. With this, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment and looking forward to seeing you again.